So we have our layers of transparent glass applied to create our basic waves. What we're going to do is we're going to go take our bead back into the flame and melt that transparent glass on top of the silver. We want to make sure that we don't put the bead all the way in the flame, otherwise the silver will start to disappear. It doesn't actually burn off, instead it burns into the glass, but what you want to do is melt the transparent very slowly onto the top so that you can trap some of that reflection of that silver underneath. Again, get, don't forget to go back in and heat this top part of your bead. You don't want it to crack while you're working on the bottom. And you don't want the bead to lose its shape, so you don't want to heat it up too much or too quickly. What you'll see here is that some of the silver surrounding the glass that's on the ivory that we didn't put transparent over is starting to disappear, starting to look like it's burning away. And you'll start to see that underneath this transparent glass, it's kind of a mirror-like finish. So you're going to go ahead and keep melting this transparent glass in until it's flush with the surface. It might take you a few minutes. Again, you still want to do this part just a little bit slowly so that the heat doesn't get a hold of that silver that's underneath your transparent glass. And now that you have one section melted in, you can go ahead and continue to melt the other sections all the time rotating your bead. If you see a part that's melting particularly slowly, you might want to spend a couple extra seconds with that particular portion in the heat. Again, you want to try not to lose your shape. I'm going to let this cool down just a little bit so you can see what it looks like flush. And we're going to sh reshape it again so you don't need to worry about it yet. But that's what your bead should look like so far.